Hey YouTube, it's Sheriff Phillips here, and I uh, just want to start off this video with saying I am sorry for my first two videos I've made. They're real quiet. I forget, I left a lot of stuff out of those second um, videos about those those two guns, and I didn't really mean to skip all that stuff. Well, I'm gonna be doing a new review. On Daisy Con 880s, but he kind of sucks in 880s. So I'm just gonna say 880. And um, this gun is a 800 You can get it at the ten pump. You don't really get that much faster, but this is an air rifle. That means whenever you open it. Pull all the way out. About right here, you hear a little puff. That's air rushing into this gun. There's a little spot right here that air rushes into. And when you keep pumping it so many times, air's gonna keep rushing in there and going into going in. So when you're putting air in this gun, you build up pressure. When you stop hitting those puffs, stop pumping because <coughs> you're just wasting your energy then. That's what makes it go as fast as it can. Now, like I said in my previous video, it's got a BB hopper right here. This little slot that goes down and up. Like I said in my previous video, this is a plastic gun. They have a Sears and Robot catalog. They have a Sears and Robot catalog. And, um, the newspaper. Well, they used to have them. I doubt they still have them. But there are articles where you can actually order stuff. Um, this man is doing a review on the, he called them Daisy 880s. He had two of them. He had one like this, a Walmart brand. And he had Sears and Robot catalog one. The Sears and Robot catalog one was actual. Right here, it's black. It was actual metal, the color of gold. So it was right here. It didn't have a scope. And this is real wood. It's a six pound brake trigger. It's got a, a rod safety. Slip it. Look at that. It's got the uh, bolt right here. This little plastic flat thing right here. Pull it back. Try to tell it in. Look. The sight is a uh, big little back sight right here. It's adjusted like that, adjusted all the way down. This little metal back sight. And the front sight. A lot of these Pelon 880s have a fiber optic right here. Mine doesn't. I don't know why. When I bought it, it was like that. But it does have a button that you push right here. Push it in. And you put push that button in you can slide this side out but I don't see why you don't do that but it's just a raised piece of plastic with a white dot painted out there and on the inside of this plastic of this this is a, like an aluminum really dark blue or black casing and on the inside of the barrel, on the inside of this flat of uh, aluminum, there's a rifled steel barrel and it's silver. And that's why it says rifled barrel right here up under the uh, sight. Let's move on. A couple things 
first. I know in my last video, like I said, you couldn't hear nothing I was saying. But if you did catch some of what I was saying, I had a Daisy Electronic Point site. I did a review on that. Well, the battery died, like I said. I got some new batteries for it, and it just ain't worth taking off your gun, putting a new battery in every time that you that the battery dies. Then I made a review on this scope. I made a unpacking review on this scope. The Tasco 4x15 22 scope. 22 long rifle scope. And the gun weighs a good three or four pounds. It'll hold up to 50 BBs in the hopper. And it's a single loader pellets. It's really hard to put pellets in. But I'd rather prefer pellets. Because pellets. They do have a slower velocity than BBs do. And. BBs on ball bearings for the earth are just round balls of going out of any gun. Pellets are aerodynamic and shaped and, po and so more of them. pointed, flat, dome, hollow, pointed hollow, and stuff like that. I know these pellets are hunting anything else because they, to me, the experience that I've had shooting this gun, pellets do more damage than BBs do. I had to, I set my trap out. I have a, have a hard trap. I set it out when season's in for squirrels up here in Ocean County, Georgia. Squirrels don't come until August, and right now it's June 30th, so I got a, a little while to wait, and you don't want to shoot until the frost, but I set my have a heart trap out, and I get squirrels from my uncle who lives across the street from me. And he has birds, and squirrels get in this place where he keeps the seed, and eat, and they eat the seed. So I do pasture vacation for them. And I do eat the squirrels I kill. I don't let them go to waste. Back to what I was saying about bees and pellets. I trapped the animals. Um, last year, I caught five squirrels. And I killed three, and I released two to my house. I've killed the first two I've captured, I shot with crossman pointed tip pellets. He killed them immediately. Well, third time, I caught a squirrel. I said, you know what, let me put a couple beads in here. I let him one, I put two more in the hopper. I got the little one. And the head and he didn't die. So I shot him both times more and he finally died. Twice more, I mean, and he finally died. And it kind of hurt my feelings, making the animal suffer. And, um, anyway, like I said, I got a 4x15 scope on here. It's a multi pump pneumatic. Made of plastic. It's got a bolt. It's got a black raised piece of plastic for sight. And it's about three or four pounds. And I like this gun a lot. It's inexpensive. I got 50 bucks from Megan, I had about 10 bucks left over when I purchased this gun. So it's pretty good. It's
it's better than a uh, Crossman 760 Pump Master. And I hope that you like this video. Don't forget to please comment, please rate, and please subscribe.